my chiropractic healing journey began in the beginning of May of this year. It had been a long time coming. Um, I had had chronic pain for the last 10 years. I had seen physical therapists and chiropractors and doctors. I had twisted my ankle several times in middle school and early high school. At age 15, I had done a bungee jumping thing at the state fair and experienced chronic pain after that. I basically wasn't in PE, like, at all. I just had excuse notes for all of them because my ankle was in a boot and I could barely walk and it was, like, this chronic thing. And two years later, the doctors were like, oh, I'm sorry. It turns out, like, the, the all the tissues ripped off your ligaments and now there's nothing we can do about it because we didn't find out for two years. And all that time they'd just been treating me for a sprained ankle because that's what they said it was. So from from a very early age, doctors were a devastating disappointment. Um, and um, that journey continued and then I re- twisted my ankle in October 2015 and I was a dancer at the time and so I proceeded to work in really really tall heels with a twisted ankle because I had to to make money to pay rent and everything and so um, my ankle was really messed up and then from dancing um, my knees were really messed up and from the bungee jumping incident my hips were messed up it turns out my hips were fully twisted one side was like turned upward and the other side was turned backward and twisted in um, and they'd been like that for 10 years. When I had seen a physical therapist in 2015, he had said, oh, wow, like, your hip's really out. Like, it's affecting your whole, like, I can see it in your, like, the gait when you walk. Um, and I kept getting adjustments, but it wasn't making much of a difference. And we didn't really know what was really going on. And, and I couldn't continue seeing him. Um, he had taken me on pro bono, um, which was absolutely incredible. Um, very, very grateful for that experience. And so then three years later, here we are actually finding out, you know, the depth of what's wrong and, and finding ways to actually correct it. I thought chronic pain was just part of my life. I thought the only way to stop my, my hip pains would be surgery. My right hip was literally popping and grinding with every step I took. Like you could audibly hear it, I could feel it, and if you pressed your hand against my hip, you could you could feel something popping and grinding with literally every step I took. Pain in my face from head trauma, um, from self harm in 2017 and part of 2018, and. My jaw had been out of place since I was 16 years old um, from a dissociative episode. A lot of different parts of my neck and my back were out of place. And as it turns out, I had like eight ribs out of place too from a car accident from 2011. But because of all the dissociation, it was never something I could pinpoint. I just knew something was in pain and causing problems and it hurt to breathe. But I assumed it was just how things were. It was anxiety. It was, you know, just whatever. Like something I couldn't do anything about. So I'm like five months into treatment now, um, May, June, July, August, September. Yes, I'm five months into treatment now and we are making huge progress. My, um, my wrist and elbow and shoulder were also out of place from being assaulted in August of 2017 and my, both my shoulders had injuries from pole dancing because like I had just like gone for it instead of building up the strength and because of the dissociation I could do that and I could like successfully like do all these like upside down flips and like cool stuff but I was really like ripping up my shoulders and, and messing up the muscles and and things in, the, in that process and so there's been a lot of different pains a lot of different things going on and we've been addressing them all in chiropractic treatment and it's been just transformational. When I started going I was so dissociated all the time. I, Felicity, didn't actually meet the chiropractor until about three months in. Um, for the first three and a half to four months, I was passing out from pain on a regular basis. Like Adjustment would happen and I would be unconscious for a few seconds to a couple minutes. Um, and there was just all sorts of things. In the beginning, my chiropractor couldn't even touch my skin without me flinching because everything was in so much pain. When I started seeing my chiropractor, I thought I had fibromyalgia. The pain was so severe I could barely walk. Now I'm out and about and able to start rebuilding muscles because things are finally staying in the places they're supposed to be. We've been breaking through over 10 years of scar tissue in my ankle and a year of scar tissue in my wrist and, you know, however many years of scar tissue in between for all sorts of other injuries. And so literally every part 
every part of my body has had really wild adjustments and having the adjustments that can finally start to stay and having the ability to be like clear headed at the appointments and having the ability to really see the progress. Um, like I, I used to have such an intense reaction from these adjustments mentally, like the flashbacks, it would, it would ensue the, um, just, yeah, the, the flashbacks were the worst. Like, every, everything was bringing up memories. When something was adjusted, the memories from that time period of when that injury had happened were surfacing, and I had to process those also while coping with this physical pain that was going on, and so it was really a double whammy for quite a while. But now it's decreasing its intensity, and I've grown in my ability to handle that. Um, I use a lot of meditation coping tools and practices when I'm at the chiropractor. I literally would not have been able to do this treatment if I wasn't someone who meditated every day because the adjustments were so severe. I couldn't breathe. I was going to these really dark places. I wasn't able to like mentally come back and you know he has a another another patient client to treat and stuff and so it's not like I can just sit there all day and have him be my therapist too you know and so he was absolutely phenomenal and works with all my parts individually. It's truly, truly a godsend. Um, but I had to have a lot of deep breathing and meditative type practices to even be able to stay present through these intense adjustments and, you know, come back after passing out and decide to be in a state of consciousness that was stable rather than the trauma part that had been triggered forward. And like, there was just a wide variety of things that um, have had to be worked through and we're, we are we are seeing the, the payoff, the progress, my, my clarity of mind, the ability to use my body, the ability of, to feel my body. Literally, my entire body was just completely numb before. It was literally just numb, numbness, like touched anywhere on my body. It would have just been numb. I wouldn't have had full feeling. And now I'm regaining my feeling, regaining the ability to be grounded in my body. Um, and someday it'll be a pleasant experience to be in my body. Right now, it's still pretty painful. But I can already tell it's not nearly as painful as it was a few months ago. And to see that progress is really encouraging, thinking where I could be in, you know, a year, a few years from now. So little peek into my chiropractic healing journey and we'll, we'll see where things take us. Uh.